right. It's time for me to replace this guy. I just bought this new guy right in the box from Amazon. Let's check it out. Look at that. Another trackball mouse. So that tells you how fan I am of these types of mice. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Over the last months, lots of you have asked me about working with the trackball mouse. You've probably seen them in lots of recording studios. They are used by lots of mixing engineers, producers, home and professional studios. You see them all over the place. And there's several reasons for this. First of all, the comfort. It is very comfortable to work on these types of mice since they have an ergonomic design, which is way better for your wrist. Like in my case, when working with a regular mouse for years, I kind of developed what they called a carpel tunnel syndrome, which is kind of a wrist problem. And by switching to a trackball mouse, it actually solved that problem for me anyways. But I know that that's the case for lots of people that switched to these types of mice. So that was a huge thing for me and one of the biggest reasons why I switched and ditched my old regular computer mice. And the other very cool reason why I like to work with these mice is the space that it takes on my desk. And that's the case for lots of recording studios, especially uh, major pro studios where you have like a huge SSL console or an EVE or whatever console they use. A trackball mouse is gonna be very useful in this case uh, because it's going to stay put in one location without moving. So instead of moving the mouse around, you just move your finger around on that ball and that's it, you know? So the mouse stays put, which is a huge thing, especially when you have lots of stuff on the desk, like I have right now, you know? Even if I don't have a huge SSL console, I still have a controller, uh, a monitoring system on the side right here, and also other types of controllers, plus, you know, the coffee heater and stuff like that, you know? So there's a bunch of stuff on my desk, and by having this type of trackball mouse that stays put without moving around helps a lot, you know? So that is also a huge plus. If we jump on the computer, the precision I get also uh, is quite nice. You know, I can move very fast from one end to the other uh, of the computer screen, uh, top to bottom. So it's very easy to go from one point to another, uh, super easy to move around. It's a matter of practice, you know, so the more you get used to it, the faster you'll get, the more comfortable you'll get also. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know, at first it was weird. When you're used to work with a regular mouse, jumping on a trackball mouse like this one, might be pretty weird at first, but it's like watching a new series on Netflix. You know, I remember when I first watched uh, Breaking Bad. It affects me. It affects Jesse too. It took me like maybe three episodes before getting into it and being hooked to the show. Same with this trackball. You know, it took me three days. I'm not gonna lie to you, three days. And I knew that was gonna happen. So, but I decided just to tough it up go through those two, three days. And after that, I was just hooked. And now I have a hard time to go back to a regular mouse. And it's very cool to be able to move around the computer without having a mouse that is moving on the desk. Honestly, again, <laughs> this is something I like a lot about these types of mice. And the cool stuff also with this one, like this model is from a company called Kensington. Now I'm not sponsored whatsoever. I did purchase both of these uh, uh, mice. Now you might ask me why I decided to get a new one since I already had one. This is an older model that works very well, okay? It's wired, as you can see. And I just decided to get the latest one that was released maybe a few months ago, which is wireless. Um, you can connect it uh, wired if you want to, also through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And I actually just connected uh, straight in Bluetooth on my Mac and it works very, very good, very well, very responsive also, no lags whatsoever. So it's uh, as responsive as the wired version, okay? So that is actually pretty good. So it's gonna take one less uh, USB slot out of my computer. And I'm just probably gonna keep this one and move it upstairs on my other computer and let my wife start to work with it. Now compared to the older one, apart from being wireless, it's also thinner. It looks a bit more modern and um, it works as well as the older version as far as the 
workflow goes. Now, the cool thing is we have like buttons here. Uh, there's four of them that you can assign to a key command, anything on your computer, including softwares like Cubase. And there's also like on this version, there is uh, this ring, which is going to do the same as a scroll wheel found on a regular mouse. OK, so this is this guy right here on the new version. Now, the Slim Blade will use a sensor instead of a physical scroll. Uh, which is quite nice, you know? And both will have the same type of ball to move your mouse around on the computer screen. Now, a very cool trick if you happen to uh, to get one of these, over time you can get some dust accumulation inside the trackball. So what you can do is just to remove that ball, very easy to remove, and clean the inside just with your finger and just, you know, clean that up, remove the dust, put back the, uh, the ball, and you're gonna be good to go. It's gonna be super fluid and very nice to work with. So this is a small tip to remember. Now, the software that comes with this model is called the Kensington Works, uh, which is gonna be used to assign all key commands on those buttons right here. Uh, and again, you can add also a software of your choice, you know, in several ones if you want to, which is great. So the minute you know, the software is going to open, it's going to switch to the key commands uh, you set up for that software, like I did uh, for Cubase. And it's very easy to set up. You just over on the command and you will see uh, which combination of buttons uh, it will trigger. OK, or one button, you know, so it depends on uh, what you use. And it's quite cool because, again, everything is straight out of that mouse and it's very easy access to those commands. So I did a quick setup here uh, that I work with when working in Cubase. Uh, so if I do use the uh, top button, like the combined top buttons, uh, that will open the studio setup. So easy access if I need to uh, go and change the buffer size for some reason, I can just uh, click on that key command straight from my trackball mouse. If I click uh, both uh, buttons at the bottom, that will open the lower zone out of the project window. I click again, it's going to, you know, get rid of that lower zone, which is also very useful. So if I click on the uh, top left, in my case, it's undo. OK, very easy. The bottom right will open the mix console or get back to the project window. And for right click, I use the top right. OK, so this is how I set it up for my uh, my taste. You know, by default, I think the right click comes to the bottom right. But for me, it wasn't just like convenient to do so. Um, so you can move that around if you want to. Now, on my Mac, uh, I love to work with different desktop. Uh, so I do have a uh, shortcut by using the left and right combined buttons to switch from one desktop to the other. OK, so this is pretty cool. Now, the only downside I must say if I have to pick one is because of its size, even if it's not very huge, is Portability is kind of not very convenient when I'm on the road, you know, especially the older one. Now, the new one is a bit thinner, so that might work better, but it's just huge a bit, you know, compared to a small mouse, you know, but not a big thing. I still carry it with me when I'm on the road. Now, there's several other companies that offer these types of trackballs. You can check them out. Uh, this is the one that I use. And now that I've been working with these types of mice for maybe a couple of years now, I can tell you that I am hooked. No more wrist problems, completely gone. And honestly, I work even faster than when working with a regular mouse. But that's me, you know, might not be the case for everyone, but that's the case for me. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you use a trackball mouse in your studio or not, or if you're planning on working with one in the future. Leave all of your questions and comments below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'm also going to leave you the link to these two trackball mice if you want to check them out. Until next time, take care and see you.